Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme video. In this video we're going to talk about the shop module in the Divi theme. It's absolutely awesome and you can create some really good looking products and sh uh, shop pages really easily. Now Divi shop module requires you to install WooCommerce plugin. So I've done that already. For those of you that don't know, check out one of our WooCommerce videos and uh, it'll show you exactly how to install it and add products. And I've just added several products here just so we can demonstrate our Divi shop module. Okay, so I've got a page and all I've done is added the shop module and added some products to it and let's just go through the simple steps we need to do to do that so let's go to our page and I've got a new page here I'll just show you this page at the moment hasn't got the module on it it's just a page that we created in the last video so what I'll do is I'll add the shop module here. I'll move these around out of the way. So here's our blurb section right here. I'm going to add another section, standard section. And I'm just going to do a full width. And insert the shop module. Just scroll down. And there you'll find it. Now you've got uh, options. Well, I'm going to insert a product category. And I've only got four of them, so I'll put the count to four. OK, and we'll make this dresses. When you select category, any category, any categories that you've created in WooCommerce will show up here. And you just need to check the category that you want to use. How many columns? Let's make it four columns. That's one, two, three, four across the row there. We'll just leave it to default. Don't want to show pagination because we've only got four products. I'm going to leave it default white background. You can add a background image or a video or whatever you want to add there. If we go to a design section, icon hover color. Let's make that red. Um, hover overlay cover well we've used red just there so I'm using what I used before here so I'm just going to hit red and I'm going to bring the opacity down so you can see through it quite nicely but you'll still get a, a color overlay but you'll still be able to see the product below and what icon you actually want there to choose any icon that appeals to you that works for you I'm going to put that little heart for a like now, if you've got an item on sale, what color do you want the badge? Again, I'm going to use red. I'll make it a little see-through again, not quite as see-through as that hover color, just so you can actually see the product behind it. And we'll put a little bit of box shadow onto our product. I'm going to use this one right here. Obviously, play around with them. They've got some great effects there, great to uh, effects for your box shadows there just have a look shadow color I'm gonna leave that as is I'm not gonna have any rounded corners on the image or border styles and you can change the actual image hue saturations contrast etc sepia here you can use different blend modes if you want. You can get some fantastic effects there, but beware, you want them to be able to see your product. And these I'm just going to leave as default. I'm not going to use any de text shadow. And I'm going to leave all these as default here. Feel free to play around with them. That you can get some great effects going. Um, and if we go down to the bottom, Let's have a little animation going on. So let's have a let's have a flip. 
and again I'm going to leave it at the default values here the timing and you can just check it out by hitting that little eyeball icon here those of you that have been using Divi will have seen that before There you go, and that's pretty effective. Those sale tags are a little large on this preview here, but uh, that's that's our color overlay, and there's our little icon that we chose there. So I'm pretty pretty uh, pretty happy with that. We'll use that, and you can see how it's going to display on a tablet, and also on a cell phone. So once you've played around with it and you're happy, go ahead and save it. And there's our new shop module right there. And just look at that. Let's give it a name so we know what it is. At the moment, it just says shop. I think it was dresses. We'll save that. And let's just move our blurb module out of the way. Great thing about the Divi Builder, you can just drag things and drop them wherever you want to. I'll put it underneath this photo text here. Now let's update and check out our page and preview and when it's loaded we can look at our page there it is so I quite like that effect um, and it you know it's it's quite a good looking little shop page right there and to add more items and different items it's so easy um, you can even do it with a visual builder if you want to but let's go back into the page let's just copy this dresses one the two little oblong icons there it's copied it underneath now all we need to do is select a different category if that's what you want to do here going to leave everything else the same I'm just going to change that to shirts not going to change any other thing at all I'm going to save it update now preview our changes and again once it's loaded simple as that it's just added our new shirts in underneath here now when I've made my products I put a couple of them on sale as you can see here obviously most people have a lot more products than me but this is purely for demonstration um, so let's just go back in there copy that one more time need to rename that as shirt is uh, shirt and this time instead of having a product category we want to have sale products but here's a little warning for you I found this out the hard way before you hit the sales product here if you've already created product categories before in categories make sure that that's unchecked you don't have any categories unchecked or it'll only show the items that are on sale in that category so we've unchecked that we're just going to have sale products again. I'm not going to change a single thing. I'm just going to save it. Update. And preview the changes. Now we've got all our sale items underneath here. And as with most WooCommerce and shop sites, you just click on a product, it'll take you to the actual product page itself. And you can add it to your cart. Because as you know, as soon as you install WooCommerce, it'll automatically create cart pages for you and sales pages. So it's really easy and it does make for a very good looking store. And it, like I said, it's very easy to implement. So let's just change that and let's call it like our shop or something. I will use the visual builder. Of course, anybody that's built an online 
e-commerce site knows the most difficult part is actually adding the product or the most tedious part save our changes but this the Divi builder here really makes it easy with this store module to create once you've added your products to create a very eye-catching and easy to manage site okay let's exit the visual builder and there you have it If you're interested in building an online store, take our uh, WordPress online store building course below this video. So there we have it. There's our little page that we've created very quickly indeed. And I think that looks pretty good. Very easy to do. Another great thing with the Divi theme just keeps getting better and better. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. As I said before, we've got a lot of great courses in links below this video. If you're interested in web development, please take one. There's some great discounts for our YouTube subscribers, and there's some fantastic free courses down there also. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.